Well, hey, go to Jay Kakao, so I can pick you up that day. Um, for Thursday afternoon, that was a reasonable turnout. We, we clashed with the by-election, so MPs were sent off to fight in the by-election itself. But we had, you saw, a core group of speakers on a cross-party basis, cross-party basis, all speaking with one voice. That, I think that's a phenomenal breakthrough. Secondly, people raised, of course, focused on the issue of the death penalty because we're worried about what's happening, the threat to Balbant Singh Rajwana and also to Professor Bull. Obviously, that was the focus of the debate because we, the one thing we've got to do is save their lives. That's yes. the first thing. The second thing, though, what was interesting is the debate ranged beyond that. Person after person got up and said, yes, it's about the death penalty, but it's also about human rights abuses generally both the historical ones that haven't been addressed since the 1980s and the ones that are happening today. I think that was a significant breakthrough in the debate in the Commons itself. In addition to that, what you saw was MP after MP pledge their commitment for a continuing campaign. We received the report back, as you saw, from the Minister about the representations that are taking place and have taken place in, in, in the recent months. But what we're seeking to do now is, first of all, as MPs now, we'll seek a meeting with the Foreign Secretary to say we need to plan this campaign now. It can't be left just to ad hoc discussions with individual Indian ministers or prime ministers. We've got to plan a campaign where we use every mechanism we possibly can, every influence we possibly can, every meeting that takes place between Britain and India, between Europe and India, and also within the UN. We've got to plan a campaign which ensures that there's a maximum pressure on India now to end the death penalty. But then in addition to that, to start raising the whole range of issues around human rights abuses, the corruption of the, the judicial system, violence in cells, the deaths in cells, the torture that goes on. So we've opened the door today to a much wider debate and I think a more thorough campaign. Let me just say this though, it wouldn't have happened. This would not, this is historic today. This has never happened before in the history of this parliament where you've got a cross-party coalition now fighting on one particular issue to put pressure on a foreign government. Never happened before in this way. It would not have happened. It just would not have happened without you. This campaign is mobilised. We've had MPs coming back time and time again that they've been visited by members of the Sikh Punjabi community, that they've received petitions from them, that people have been to their surgeries, that they've been here to meet them. All that lobbying paid off because in addition to all those MPs that spoke today, there'll be two dozen or three dozen others who've been lobbied, who've come up and said we support the campaign. I just want to thank you. I sincerely want to thank you all. This has been one of the most successful campaigns we've ever seen in the history of this parliament. The way people have been mobilised in these numbers and been so focused and so effective. So I want to say thank you, but I also want to say this. As we pledge down there in that Commons chamber, this campaign goes on. When will it end? When we've secured victory. When that, the death penalty is abolished and we've addressed human rights abuses. That's when it will end.